you know, it used to be whenever a speedometer came in it wasn't working, about the only thing we could do is replace the speedometer head. But a lot of times these days, there's a reset procedure that could be used. What you usually see is someone coming in saying their speedometer isn't working, and as you talk to them, you find out that they just recently changed their battery, or somebody else changed their battery, or even jump-started the vehicle. Anything that caused electrical spark, spike. What you're looking for is the speedometer, the needle, rests usually on a pin at zero. And it looks like that needle is on the opposite side of that pin, or as if it's gone all the way around. When you turn the key on, the needle will actually come up and hit that pin and stop instead of going around. If that's the case, it's very likely that there's a reset procedure. Here's one we're going to show you. It's actually on an O2 Chrysler Sebring. It's a simple procedure. Check your manual, and you'll probably find one very similar to this for yours. Turn the key on? Yeah. Now let go of the button.